Hi everyone! Today I'm answering a really common question. How do you remove a white background from a photo in Procreate? I'm going to show you two practical examples. Number one, how to remove the background from one of my own hand-drawn sketches, this little robin bird I painted using coffee. And number two, how to remove the background from a printable sheet of illustrations and then isolate a single image to turn it into a digital sticker with a white outline. Let's jump straight in. Start by setting up your canvas. If you're planning to print your design later, make sure your canvas size matches the size you want to print on, like A4 at 300 dpi for high quality. Now import your photo. Here I'm going to import my coffee painted robin sketch. And to start removing the white background, we're going to make sure that we have our illustration in the correct position on our canvas. Make sure you've got the right layer selected and then you're going to tap on the selection tool, the little S, and make sure it says automatic and add. And then you're going to select the white background. You will see that you can adjust the threshold of that white background or that selection by moving your pencil or your finger to the right or the left. So adjust it to where you feel it is best and it removes a lot of the white, it doesn't have to remove all the white because we'll show you how to go in and manually erase some of the little few marks that are left behind. Once you've done that, you can then go to the wrench tool and select cut to remove the white background. You can then deselect your background layer and you'll see that the white background has been deleted. Most of it has been, but there are a few little spots like I mentioned there would be, and of course I've got my fingers in the left-hand corner here that I want to erase. And I'm going to do that by selecting the eraser tool and the hard brush as the option, just because this gives me a nice clean erasing. And I'm going to go in and just find all those little speckles and erase them. Now let's say you have a printable JPEG sheet like this selection of floral illustrations and you want to remove the background and turn one of the elements into a digital sticker. Import the entire printable sheet onto your canvas. Move the sheet into the correct position on your canvas. You're then going to uncheck the background layer and choose the selection tool again. We're following the same steps we did in the last demonstration. Make sure automatic is selected and select your background. Now, the trouble is it is difficult to identify where your threshold is exactly when you have a watercolor texture like I do here. But if you're not happy with how much you've cut off, you can go and make adjustments as you go along and redo the process. But I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Now I'm going to turn this little robin illustration into a single digital sticker. I'm going to choose my selection tool again, select freehand, and I'm going to just loosely draw a shape around that particular element. Once I've done that, I'm going to select copy and paste. And what this does is it duplicates that robin onto a new layer. So I'm going to then hide layer one so that I only see the robin. I'm going to reposition the robin. I might turn on my background again just so that I can see where the canvas is. Background layer on. Now I'm going to reposition my robin to the center and I'll uncheck the background again. And now perhaps you want to add a white outline to that robin to create an official digital sticker. You are going to duplicate the robin layer. You're going to go to adjustments, hue, saturation and brightness, and you're going to increase your brightness to 100%. You're then going to drag that white layer beneath the colored robin layer. Then go to adjustments, Gaussian blur, and slide to apply a blur between 10 and 17%, depending on how thick you want the outline. Once you've done that, go back to your selection tool, 
select automatic and then you are going to tap on the screen and you're going to increase the threshold of that background layer and of your selection so that it selects the Gaussian blur area and it creates a natural white outline. You can also adjust the amount you feather it so it softens the edge of that outline. When you're happy with your final result, you can export the image as a PNG with transparency if you've made sure that your background layer has been deselected. If you'd like to practice this, I'm sharing the floral printable sheet you saw today as a flat JPEG for all my Patreon members. You can use it to practice removing backgrounds and adding outlines and turning them into your own digital stickers for mobile, digital planners, junk journaling, scrapbooking and more. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you'd like more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.